Welcome to this Discovery Channel special report on the recent eruption of the Yellowstone Caldera. Today we have with us Professor Maureen Regis from the Cave Institute of Seismology to shed some light on this disastrous situation. Professor Regis, could you brief us on some of the current threats due to this volcanic eruption? Um, well, the conditions both inside and outside the zone are being affected, mostly because of the emissions of a supervolcano, which include ash and sulfur dioxide. Ash basically causes a lot of breathing problems and causes lung disorders and diseases, which is really hazardous to our health. And second of all, the sulfur dioxide basically blocks the sunlight from our atmosphere and creates a global temperature drop. Thank you, Professor Regis, for that important information. Survivors currently living in Kansas have sent us a brief video message using the makeshift electricity generator at hand. Let's cut to the clip. Hello, I don't have much time to explain what's going on right now. Uh, we don't have much power. We're uh, creating this um, video using manually generated, uh, manually generated power using power batteries. Um, so, uh, we've moved southeast from our original location. We're from Kansas. Um, but we've moved southeast to some mountain. I'm not sure what the name is, um, but uh, we've been trying to use coffee filters to filter out the ash. As we get farther away from the explosion site, um, it's the ash is getting smaller and smaller. We don't know if it's uh, more or less dangerous, though. Right now we're in indoors, so we don't need any uh, filters. Is it on? Can you see me? Uh, okay, it's been four months since the explosion. Um, we're kind of not as bad as we were before, but um, so we've assigned everyone to roles at this point. Uh, so right now, me and a couple others are in charge of making this video and sending it out. Um, but we still have a bit of problem with the ash. Uh, once we're deep in the mountains, it's okay, because um, there are caves and stuff where the ash doesn't really go. But the westerlies are really blowing the wind everywhere and you can't, um, it's really hard to breathe sometimes. So, um, like I said, we really need to get out soon, so it'd be really helpful if you brought some resources and got us out of here. Thank you. Evidently, the survivors are struggling to find a route out from this disaster. We saw in other footage that they had prepared emergency kits containing masks, food, water, and warm clothes. However, despite this preparedness, they seem to be trapped on the mountain on which they've taken refuge. There we have rescue workers on the scene trying to find a way in. Maria, what can you tell us about this? Yes, hi Rachel. I'm on the outskirts of the disaster zone in Arkansas, where you can see a group of rescue workers trying to find a group of survivors in Kansas who have been sending us short video messages. The ash cloud is blocking all of our vehicle engines, making it impossible for us to go in. We hope to see some progress real soon. Back to you, Rachel. to the bone. If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. For the times, they are changing. I'm writer than critics, you probably... Thank you, Maria for joining us today for our special broadcast regarding the eruption of supervolcano caldera. We thank you.